Hello, I'm David Kerr, Professor of Cancer Medicine at the University of Oxford. Um, I must admit, I do enjoy working with EdMD, with Medscape, um, providing these um, uh, always to me interesting uh, videos, sometimes a very simple, factual uh, description of a paper that's caught my eye or attention, I think you'll find interesting. Sometimes rather more philosophical um, issues. And, and I usually, I do, I promise, I do my best not to talk about my own work. But let's talk about a wee paper we just published in The Lancet with um, a former Prime Minister, Gordon Brown, um, a fantastic politician, um, a statesman of global standing, and somebody who played an enormous role in 2008 in terms of the global recovery from the financial crisis at that stage. So, so somebody who is well recognised and well thought of. And one of the things that he and I have been thinking about recently is um, how we deliver healthcare in our United Kingdom. Um, uh, you may or may not know that we have devolved governments now, which is a good thing. Um, the more democracy we can deliver closer to the people, the more um, decision-making that we can put closer to the community served by politicians, the better, I think. But we have an interesting debate just now about healthcare. Um, so I, by accent and uh, every other bit of me, my big potato head, I'm Scottish, uh, a proud Scot. Um, but also, I do like the sense of the union. Um, I, I like as being part of the wider United Kingdom. Uh, we have a national health service. Um, we, we would argue government's greatest gift to citizens. Um, enduringly, it's the most popular public service that we have, not surprisingly, because we deliver health care um, to one and all and free at the point of delivery. A fantastic thing. It's socialised pay through taxation. Um, health care is one of the devolved issues that goes to towards Scotland. And we've been thinking, though, about what are the benefits to being part of a wider United Kingdom? Um, and that, that's what a wee commentary was on. We think that there are issues like workforce, workforce um, ordering the workforce, training, um, planning, it's probably better done in a wider scale against uh, over all the devolved nations, um, England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, the, the component countries that make up our, I would say, great United Kingdom. Um, I think big data, sharing data, I think speed and rapidity of research. Uh, I'm enormously proud of the fantastic contribution my colleagues in Oxford made uh, both to vaccinating the world, more than 2 billion doses of the um, Oxford AstraZeneca COVID vaccine have been delivered, and in the recovery trial, perhaps the most rapidly recruiting study um, in, you know, in global terms to date, in which with rapidity, um, there was fantastic collaboration across all the devolved health services of the United Kingdom, and of course spreading widely internationally so that we could answer questions as quickly as absolutely possible, finding treatments which helped COVID and discarding treatments which were of no use whatsoever, uh, showing again the, I think, competitive advantage of countries working together, collaboration, collectivism, uh, rather than competition. Um, th there are other issues um, within our socialised healthcare system around procurement on a wider scale, um, around delivery of highly specialist services. Clearly, um, the, the greater the number of the population of patients being treated in very specialist centres, the better the outcomes are. There's quite a strong evidence base supporting that. So it's a debate that we've initiated, and it's one that I'd be really interested in your thoughts about how um, whether your healthcare system is delivered locally, regionally, nationally, even internationally, what do you think the benefits of a collective and cooperative approach to healthcare are? I'd be very, very interested in your thoughts. Clearly, as you know, I do a lot of work with my friends and colleagues in Sub-Saharan Africa. We're doing a lot of work with my friends and colleagues in Iraq and so on, in which I think that cooperative models are, are essential. But even with a, uh, within a well-developed um, Western healthcare system, I think there are still real benefits to be had, but I'd be very interested in your thoughts. Have a look at our wee 
um, a wee a wee paper in in the Lancet. Have a think about it, and I'd be really interested to see what comments you might bring back. As always, Medscapers, thanks for watching, listening, reading. And for the time being, over and out. Thank you.